So, how bad is it? Oof. Not fit to move under his own power at all. Can he be fixed in time for tomorrow? Well, the lads at the works will do their best. But if I were you, I wouldn't gamble on it. Oh, bother. The one time I needed him the most. Yeah, I heard about that good strain. I doubt any of the other engines can manage it. Well, certainly not alone. I suppose it will have to be a double header. The question, though, is who? Hello, Falcon. What are you up to? Well, having a rest, of course. Alright, alright. Just trying to chat is all. So, um, you tend to rest a lot, don't you? Well, when you travel from one end to another with heavy coaches, I say you need all the rest you can get. Pulling passengers is the most challenging job on any railway. Maintaining a good speed, ensuring perfect comfort for the people, and, of course, bringing the train to a gentle stop at the platform. What about shunting? Well, for that matter, what about goods trains? Oh, shunting can be challenging too, I imagine. Depending on how much of a dreaded maze the yards can be. Goods trains, on the other hand, are a whole different story of their own. They require no real skill or grace. Just pulling a lot of stock, mostly dirty, along the line. Simple as that. That's why I never do it. I always aim to push myself and never slack around. Mm, debatable. Besides, I'm simply not designed for them. If you would allow me to translate that for you, Joseph, Falcon essentially has this thing one might call laziness. I beg your pardon? Yeah, I kind of guessed that. If only you had actual experience with goods traffic like myself. Perhaps such comments wouldn't exist. Huh! Well, if you're so convinced I'm wrong, Falcon, there's a possibility you'll be able to prove it very soon. How do you mean? I overheard Mr. Thompson saying he'll be paying you and me a little visit later. Apparently, it has something to do with an important train. An important train? So, just a goods train? That's important? It will contain long overdue supplies for Havenbridge, so it's essential that it gets there tomorrow. Now that the 9F is out of commission, it requires two engines. I need someone who can maintain a good high speed and someone with plenty of experience. Which is why I come to you two. Ugh, this is going to be so degrading. Oh, but I thought it was simple work, Falcon. I'll see to it that we complete the job, sir. Ah, good. I know I can rely on you. Make sure you listen to him, Falcon. Come on, Falcon. Wake up. Oh, why?
It's not really a big concern, but knowing you, would you like to be in front of me, or behind? The further I'm away from those grubby things, the better. Very well then. So, are we off? <laughs> We've only just backed on, Falcon. We'll be off when the time is right. Oh, oh at last. Come on now, come on now. Oh. Steady on, Falcon. Sterling, are you actually pulling? Of course I am. What are you on about? Well, this train is feeling very heavy. Oh, it's a long bloody good train. What did you expect? your best will forward, Falcon. We'll need it for the hill. Well, if you would stop slacking, there will be no trouble. This is no time for insults, Falcon. Oh, oh, come on, Falcon. I'm putting in the required effort. It's you who needs to put in more... Sterling, are you all right? It's simple, you said. Requires no skill, you said. Well, what do you call this, hmm? Goods may not be passengers, but they require just as much skill as any other job. Skill that you are currently lacking. I'm... I'm sorry, Sterling. I didn't want you to be worn out. I thought it would be easy and require little effort. I, I can only imagine now how hard you must really work. Please, let us try again, and this time I will give it my all, even once we're over this hill, and I really mean that. Well, there's only one way to find out. All right. Are you set, Falcon? Yes. Come on! Come on! Come on! We'll do it. We'll do it. We'll do it. Ah, we did it! 
We did it! I can't believe it! Well done, Falcon! Well done indeed! Exactly on time. Oh, on time? Oh, didn't think we'd make up for it. Oh, blimey. Looks like this job has taken a toll on you two. Leave the truck's lair and get some rest. Well, it all worked out in the end, didn't it? Yes. Indeed. I'm sorry again for the way I acted. Oh, it's all right. You certainly made up for it, though. Even I wasn't expecting you to push as much as you did. All the same, I'm sure you'll be glad to go back to passengers tomorrow. Oh, absolutely. Although, I've been thinking. If there's ever a situation in which a goods train needs an engine... Let me know. Are you actually being serious? Well, if there's absolutely no other engine available, then yes. <laughs> I'm sure Mr. Thompson will love to hear that. 